First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 16 says, um, Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those near you. So Paul writes this to um, Timothy, who is a young pastor in Ephesus, a, a thriving church, a, a busy church, and uh, he's saying, you know, take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. So uh, it's a lesson for us, it's an instruction for us as well, as we are constantly serving, ministering, doing things and being busy um, in ministry, maybe at work or giving ourselves uh, over to the work of the Lord. Are we giving ourselves enough times of much needed rest and refreshing for our body and our mind and our spirit? And that's uh, the question that we need to ask ourselves. Do we realize that we have spiritual needs ourselves? Now, Paul is writing to Timothy and he's saying, you know, take heed to yourself. Uh, you consider yourself and take heed. You, you take care of yourself. Um, that word, take, that phrase, take heed, means to grab hold of something very tightly. In other words, to have an extremely firm grip. So, so Paul here is saying, you know, you have an extremely firm grip on the doctrine, on the teaching. And he's also saying, you know, take a, take a grip of yourself, take heed to yourself, uh, have an extremely strong grip on yourself. So, um, so this means that we need to make our spiritual life a priority. We need to have a strong grip on our spiritual life. We need to get a hold of ourselves. And uh, yes, even though we might be busy serving, even, even though we might be busy and uh, faithfully carrying out all that the Lord has asked us and commissioned us to do, we need to make sure that we take care of our spiritual needs, that we spend time in the Lord. And if you look at the lives of the disciples, the Lord, when He chose the disciples, this is what He did. He, he called them, He named them disciples so that they might be with Him. So in His presence, and that's where the refreshing and the rest comes, and that's where the revelation is received so that He might send them out. So it's the same for us that we might be with the Lord and that He might send them out. So uh, if we do not do this, if we do not take time, if we do not take heed to ourselves, then what happens is that ministry becomes a drudgery. We, we do things, we are drained, we are tired, we are weary all the time. We don't have anything to give others, uh, but we, uh, in, in, and it becomes a, a very um, painful, uh, drudgery and it's not a joyful journey anymore. Ministry is not joyful. We come to that point and uh, also we become vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. It, it is in these moments that we make bad decisions, that we make poor choices and this, these could be poor moral choices. Um, so we need to be careful, we need to get a firm grip on this. And maybe today, you know, if, uh, if we are facing these things, uh, if they are facing these symptoms, then we need to really reschedule our lives and uh, make sure that there is enough time in our lives to be, stand, to be spent with the Lord, to be spent with family, to be spent, uh, you know, nurturing relationships and accountable relationships so that we do not burn out, so that we do not uh, become targets of the enemy. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, for these words of uh, warning Lord, that we find in, in your word, that we need to take heed uh, of ourselves, that take care of ourselves, Lord. And Lord, we pray that uh, even as we do so, Lord, that you would fill us, Lord. Lord, even as we spend time in your presence, Lord, that as we wait in your presence, that our strength will be renewed like the eagles, that we would be refreshed, God. That uh, times of refreshing would come from your presence, Lord, and uh, completely changing us, completely saturating us, Lord. And we pray, God, that we'll be renewed and refreshed once again. We commit ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.